Dear students, now I will video the video of Western Physics, Terminal State Board. Chapter is Magnetism and Magnetic Effects of Electric Current. If you like channel, subscribe to the channel. What are all the topics that we are going to learn in this chapter? These are the topics that are given here. We are going to study about all these things. Now, in the first case, we will see about the introduction to magnetism. So, here is a picture which depicts the magnetic levitation, which means a magnet floats in the presence of another magnet. And uh, these magnets will be a great attraction for all of us because these magnets are used in many ways in our daily life and therefore the study of magnets actually fascinated all of us. And in addition to that, the birds and animals have also this magnetic sense the eyes which are using its magnetic field for its navigation. So in this case of a bird, the magnetic sensing in the eyes because of the presence of a protein present in the retina, it uses its sense of its magnetic field for its navigation. So here in this case, we study about the introduction of magnetism. Magnetism is everywhere from tiny particles like electrons to the entire universe. The word magnetism was derived from iron or magnetite. In the olden days, magnets were used as magnetic compass for navigation, magnetic therapy, for treatment, and also used in magic shows. But in modern days, most of the things we use in our daily life contain magnets. These are the motors, cycle dynamo, loudspeakers, magnetic tapes used in audio and video recording, mobile phones, headphones, CD, pen drive, hard disk for a laptop, a refrigerator door, generator. These are all few examples. Earlier it was that uh, both electricity and magnetism were two independent branches of physics. But in the year 1820, a scientist called Oyster observed the deflection of magnetic compass needle, which is kept near a current carrying wire. So this unified the two different branches, electricity and magnetism, as a single subject called electromagnetism in physics. So in this unit, we are going to study about the basics of magnets and their, also, their properties also. So let us study about these topics in our next video. Thank you.